Okay, so what we're gonna do now is start to blend in some blue into the eyes. So just sort of mix your white and your blue and sort of drop it down and get uh, a really nice flow in terms of the blue and just start to build out the eyes with your color. Um, if you mix a bit of green, that's fine, you can do that. I mean, it's totally up to you. But what we're gonna do is just start filling in that area and give it a bit of brightness and a bit of depth and make it jump off the canvas a little bit. This is where the dynamics of the face will start to appear particularly in the eyes, because what is most alluring about this painting is the eyes. And what you'll find is I'm, I'm not just using blue inside the eyes, I'm using it around the eyes as well. So I'm trying to capture the dynamics of the blue in different areas of the face. So you can do the same thing. You can fill up the eye with the blue, but work around the eye as well, around the eyelashes. With blue highlights uh, I even move to different areas of the face as well just to highlight little blue scratches that will make a difference in the overall composition you can even lighten down the blue apply some more um, titanic titanium white and just shift that the dynamic of the, the color just a little bit and you can also incorporate a bit of the violet, bring some violet around the eyes as well. And it's really going to start to lift the main feature, which is the eyes, off, off the canvas. So you can see that I'm sort of darting around the face and just popping blue, even on the lips there, on the nose down under the eye just for subtle highlights that really start to make it work and, and incorporating the violet in around the lips there and in the eyes as well you just want these splashes of dynamic color that it's not just nestled in the eye, but nestled across the whole face and the whole feature of the painting. And we just continue to build on top of it. Okay, next step now is that we're going to work on the mouth. So it's a matter of mixing up your reds, getting a bit of pink, but you also want those darker areas to sort of define shadows in there as well. Um, and if you just watch along with me, you'll see how I sort of blend it all together. But um, yeah, grab those paints and we'll start to work on the mouth and really start to bring it out. And you'll start to see that the face is starting to fill out and actually leap off the canvas a little bit more once you've got those lips in there. The first priority is just to fill the lips with a colour. So if it's the, the lighter peachy pink colour that I'm using there, just fill the whole lip so you can... Got a basis to work from there. We can always highlight and change tone and colour as we go along. That will represent the light better. But for now, you just want to fill it up just so that you get a better scope of what you're trying to get on the canvas in terms of the shape and form and the dynamics. And you'll notice I'm using the little brush. I sort of just tap about with the little brush and just really kind of taking my time, even though I do have a bit of a rhythm going, but I am sort of contemplating some aspects of it, but I am just trying to fill areas as well. And you can move that same color across to the nose, similar to what we were doing with the eyes before. Share those colors around. And maintaining the shape and things is that's that's why I recommend just filling areas up first just so that you can get the shape dynamics correct and once you've got that then you can start to incorporate darker areas like I use a darker pink a richer red or lighter pink to show where the light is hitting on the lips particularly underneath the bottom of the top of the lip rather 
So what you want to do now is start to fill in the face a lot more. So this is where you grab your Naples, Naples yellow uh, or your flesh tint and we'll just start highlighting areas. We also want to sort of drop back a few areas as well. So this is where your black and your red, you can bring that in with your Naples yellow just to sort of create some more darker areas. I mean, if you look at the camera at the moment, you probably see there's a bit of a darker area on this side of my nose and sort of this side of my face. So we want to sort of capture those sort of things and down the bottom here as well. So that's where your black and your red mix together and just mix that with Naples yellow just so that it looks like a darker skin color. But um, let's give it a shot and see how we go. It does pay to have a couple of two tone mixes of the Naples. So you have the standard Naples yellow color, but also mix another one separately that's uh, just got a little bit of your, your black and red in it just to darken up that tone. As you'll see, I'll utilize the darker side of the Naples yellow in a minute. But at, the, but at the moment, you just want to fill in key areas where you can see the light on the face. So use your, your picture that you've got as your blueprint and just color in key light areas. The lightest part of the face, that's where you want to incorporate this Naples yellow, the skin color. Generally on the right side of the face is where the light is hitting and across the top, right through the middle of the nose, down underneath the right eye, across the top of the lip as well, on the top lip will be another area. Don't be too particular, you just want to fill up these areas quickly because you can adjust the tone and colour if you if it starts to look too bright, too early, you can sort of flush it back later on. Just adjust your colouring and the darkness of the paint. As you can see that I've just darkened up the Naples yellow a little bit there. So on the left side of the face, which is darker because there is less light hitting it, hitting the face on that side. I'm generally just trying to get a feel of keeping the shape and the form of the face. So I'm just filling in key areas and I'm not being too particular about it. I just want to fill those areas because it's going to stabilize the basis of, of where I can start to enhance things later on when I do light and colors and I do want to uh, incorporate my whites in there to give sort of key light areas on the face. But for now, I really want to flush out the shape of the face in the color form. And don't forget to move back and forward from the canvas, as I probably mentioned before. You know, stand back a couple of meters if you've if you've got the space to be able to do that, and just really have a good look, and then walk back into the canvas because it it can be a little stifling if you are only one foot away all the time. So constantly use that space if you've got it to utilize. You can see that I'm applying a little bit more paint on the brush now. Just it's getting a little bit heavy. I want it. I want it to be a bit heavier, a bit more dense in there. I want a bit more layering because that's going to really lift the dynamics and create more depth. But you can also see that it's got a really nice undertone from our original background that we did, which sort of subtle, subtly sits in the background there, which is quite nice. Now bring in some rich red around the lips and really make them bounce out. You just want to color in some key areas and not sort of flood it.
it helps to make the lips as if they're sort of really bouncing out towards you. And now I'm using a bit of the violet, just darkening up the violet to use it around the perimeter of the lips, just to darken that area, rather than rely too much on the black. Just start to darken more sort of realistic figure uh, colors, such as the lip colors, but just darkening them up and not relying too much on the black. Now flushing out the eyes a little bit more, I, I need to create some more dynamics in the eye. I know that the eyelashes I will have to sort of bring out and uh, put a bit more intensity in there. Now I'm just trying to ma maintain little highlight areas of light with the blue. Overall, it's starting to pull through and it's starting to take a life of its own, which is uh, nice. So we're moving forward in the right direction, which is a good thing. 